What's up guys, it's your friendly neighborhood black guy, this is NGSU, and we are here reacting to 6 anime super fans versus 1 fake fan odd man out by Jubilee. We've watched, we've watched, we've reacted to videos before in the past, two to be exact, our last one was with my friend Jonathan, which you can see here, or here, or, or here. Here, here. It's gonna be here, here. So go ahead, you know, just go ahead and click on those. And for new people, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. All right, it's down below. It don't take nothing. All right, let's hop straight into it. Okay. It's over 9, How can you tell if someone is an anime super fan? Through their knowledge of different anime series? Is it by their collection of figurines, posters, and plushies? Maybe it's by how they dress- Okay, so to everybody part of the anime community, look, all it takes for you to be a true anime fan is to just enjoy anime. It doesn't matter if it's mainstream or it's new, okay? If you enjoy anime, you're an anime fan. Don't let anybody else tell you if you're a fake anime fan or not, okay? If you enjoy anime, Feel free to be an anime fan. It's, it's okay. It's cool. All right. Let's hop. Let's hop back into it. Press or even if they cosplay. We brought together seven anime super fans, but one is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll win the cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the cash prize. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Okay. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Kurt, <gasps> I, I, I actually, I actually follow him. I actually follow, I, I'm subscribed to him. This is Kurt. This is Kurt Richie Rich. He's actually, um, an animation YouTuber, you know, just telling story times kind of like, I wouldn't say kind of like young Don, but, um, they're in the same genre of content creation. So, yeah. Okay, so I see Pongo, this and then I saw Nar. I saw a Tsunade. Tsunade cosplay. I'm sure, like, the first question that's gonna get asked is, what's your favorite anime? If you know obscure anime, that really, really helps. You can't tell me your favorite underrated anime, because you clearly haven't watched enough anime to be an anime super fan. Like, I think I want to talk about things that you had. Yeah, yeah, anime super fan, so I mean, yeah, fair enough to watch the show to know. I think it's very hard to actually try and pretend you're an anime fan. I'm just really excited to play this game and see how my detective skills are. I'm getting dokies right now, getting dokies, but I'm so excited and I'm ready to do my best. Somebody boss! Wow, I'm surprised that there are people that actually sound like that. I'm Jennifer, so what's an obscure anime, anime that you love? Ooh, obscure. Let's see how obscure. Okay, an obscure anime that I love. Sword Art Online. I'm sorry. It's... One second, let me go ahead and look up that word and see if I'm using it correctly. Okay, um, so, obscure, not discovered or known about, uncertain. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, basically, just unknown anime. Um, I feel like one of the one of the animes that definitely fly below the radar is, like, Megalobox. Um, a very hit, it's a hidden gem. I love it, so. Here can we get? Shoujo goodness. Kaiba. Kaiba doesn't have a lot of dialogue, which makes it special. I don't know. I love lots of animes. Um. Katakuri Circus. Oh lord, it's going back. There's too many people that get this. There's de they're definitely bigger anime fans than I am because um, they have not an named a single anime that I know. So I I might just be a casual. So that's all right. Done. Oh wait, Banana Fish is not really that obscure. Banana Fish is solid. Alright, Kurt. Banana fish is solid. Hot take, least favorite anime. Naruto. <gasps> Hot take, least favorite anime, Naruto. <laughs> Do I have news for you, buddy? Favorite anime merch you own. Um, I don't, I don't know. Aha. I don't know. I like too many. Crap. Demon Slayer hoodie. Seems a little bit generic. Gen. Genet. No. B you. Oh, hold on, my mom's calling. Hello, beautiful. I'm doing great. Um, I'm recording a video, so you can go ahead and say hi to everybody who's um, you know. Huh? Yeah, I I'm recording a video right now, so you want to say hi to the people that are watching. Hello, people. <laughs> and that was my mom, everybody. 
because it was hand drawn. Everyone watch anime. So we might get some illegal sites, we might get like Crunchyroll, Hulu, Netflix. So we're gonna see. Where does if I don't see nine anime or kiss anime, which kiss anime is down, but if I don't hear nine anime or anything like that, we know. Legal sites, kiss anime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anime, R.I.P. <laughs> kiss anime, yeah. Yo, chat said kiss anime, R.I.P. Okay, I am with cat. Rip, kiss anime. Oh, everyone started yeah, saying R.I.P. Cat is anime. definitely not. She can't be. She can't be a fake anime fan. I'm gonna be so hurt. Okay. Person eliminated this round is Katie. Oh. I knew it. Y'all agree with me? No, they didn't need to get her out of there. I promise. We know, we know. You will have 10 minutes to prove that you're an anime super fan by taking a photo of your anime related possessions or collectibles. I already got it on my desktop. If I had to do this right now, I would be majorly screwed. But oh, I have so many anime games in my room. I own Xenoverse, Xenoverse 1, 2, I had Storm 4, I had 3. Um, I had Revolution. I don't know if it's called Storm 3. It's pretty. I'm pretty sure it's not called Storm 3. I have Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Storm Generation. I played Attack on Titan. I played Attack, the first Attack on Titan game. I was... It didn't impress me enough to buy the second one, so yeah. You guys will have 10 minutes to 10 do minutes? this, and the time starts now. Okay, so... Because I was like, what if I wore that for the we're gonna grab this nice Goku figure, cause Goku a goat. This is a Mario scrunchie, all included. All Might is my favorite, so I'm just gonna cover this dude's face anyway because he's all a Might character. Naruto, and then My Hero Academia. I think I know who the fake anime fan is. This table is a mess. Why is there a random toothbrush? Anime fans should understand this: that there's late night of binging. I have this. It's my panel badge because I was on a panel for Anime NYC. I think my Comic Con badge counts. I have a normal closet in my room, and then I have a second closet, and this closet is purely for cosplay stuff. Time oh to wow! Take a photo now. I should have this the other way around so people can see the covers. I hope this is enough. <laughs> All right. I, I... Oh wow! They're making this tough. Oh, okay, okay, that's pretty that. cool. He's got a, he has a, a Naruto shirt. He's got a a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure hat. Okay, a Dragon Ball hat. If that's not from Spirited Away, I'm screwed. Ooh. I don't know, maybe like guys don't buy as much stuff. Unless it's all borrowed. I'm kidding. Oh, damn. Ooh, cosplay. Sorry. They're really making this hard for me. Um, I, I really want to kick Cat the f*** out of here, but it's she's making pretty compelling arguments here. I am not an aesthetic queen, but the things in this picture made me poor for loving mm. anime. Is it Jennifer? Because she's not talking a lot. I think I'm gaining the trust of the people. I don't think it's Gabriel anymore. He has my trust. <laughs> he can't. It can't be okay Gabriel. About the Veneta. Dude, everyone's gotta love the Veneta body pillow. Worst character. The rest I can respect, though. <laughs> the frog. I know this is an anime, but I love the frog. Wait a second. This is a Naruto wallet. This is Naruto's like froggy wallet. This is anime. Oh, Jennifer. Oh, oh, oh wow, Jennifer's out. Jennifer's out. That's GG's. Uh, there's the full metal alchemist. Too no, soon. It's too soon. Helsing? Okay, yeah, no. No, it can't be Anton. Let's see, he had a Pikachu. That was sad. Ah, uh, the Dong and Rampa. Okay, she got some plushies. Ooh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, I trust them. Yeah. Some of this is an anime though. These mm. Okay, I'm suspicious of Jennifer now. I feel like everyone's gonna react and be like, it's not enough. Did you play Danganronpa or just watch the anime? For sure better than the show. My. Oh my I have God. had the pizza. Oh wow, she has hella banana fish. Oh, the Funko Pops. I love mm. these. Shooter, I'm crying. Shooter, shooter, you just... Is that a, wait, is that a body pillow or a regular pillow? Is that a body pillow or a regular pillow? Okay, I think Kurt is a weeb. Don't be surprised if your body pillow is missing tonight. Hey now, that's a threat. Everything came out strong. Yeah, he he dead ass just threatened her with um 
breaking and entering. Um, I don't know how I feel about that one, but I know he's kidding, guys. But what if he wasn't? He's probably not, so nothing to worry about. But what if he wasn't? But he's probably not, so. But what if you? And that's why I'm concerned. And Tony's collection. I love it. Antoine had good stuff, but it was all like anime from like 10 years ago. So that's and? why I'm like a little suspicious. Right now, I have to go with Cat. They could just be a cosplayer. Not necessarily I feel like they're going to go with this like super like they're going to go with this like, okay, yeah, I used to be an anime super fan, but I'm not anymore, you know, type of answer. Either that or, you know, I've been right. So, or I could be totally wrong. Who knows? We'll fi let's find out. Is Jennifer the hell out Jennifer. of there? Bye bye. Good luck, everyone. I'll be playing Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. Hey, everybody. Oh, hi. Hi. Kurt, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> Each person will get. 30 seconds to tell everyone a story about an experience you had related to anime. This is when I went to Acon in Fort Worth, Texas. If you guys haven't been there, it's kind of like Cowboy City. Okay. And so none of my friends cosplayed at all, and we went to go get dinner. And because I was a poor student, we had to stay far away from the con center. So we went to get breakfast at this like old timey diner, and I was the only one in cosplay, and I was just surrounded by like grandmas and grandpas who had like no idea why this weirdo girl was dressed up like so out of place and i think that was like probably one of my most embarrassing stories that's kind of related to like a cotter anime whatever just like live your life fair enough okay um i'll go um probably one of one of my uh just anime stories so i was watching so i was very into sword of online beginning of you know my anime experience around like sixth or seventh grade I, like the first anime that i was really introduced to was dragon ball z but i didn't really care too much i just played the games but i um my first real anime that i was invested in was sword art online and i fell in love with that anime i wanted everything in that anime to be so true it was just like a world where we could put on a helmet and just be whatever we wanted i felt like that escape was captivating i was watching i was watching i was watching the end of the alfheim i was watching the end of the alfheim saga and my dad walked in on the um, the tentacle rape scene. Well, sorry, se tentacle sexual harassment scene. So, um, yep, that's the end of that story. I was actually introduced to anime by my parents. Not they didn't know it was that though. Uh, my dad showed me Speed Racer because he grew up Ooh, watching that, and nice. then I didn't know it was anime. He didn't know it was anime. I watched it, and then I was like, "Yo, this is cool." They talk a little funny, but it's cool. And over time, I started to learn about it, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, got into proper with Full Metal <laughs> Alchemist. I feel like a lot of people, uh, and then Dragon Ball Z, and then you know, show and track. Which one was Then I like I I liked okay, it so much. It made yeah. a part of my career. I, I make videos about it all the time. I talk about it all the time. I. I, I mess with it and I yield my time. I'm he stuttered too much. They, I think they might find that really, suspicious. I'm not that social at that, but I have this friend who I cosplay the My Hero Academia moms with. Mm. Like public Target TikTok videos, and if you've seen them, you probably have because they always blow up for some reason. She actually got me out of my shell in cosplaying in public. Yep. In either way, it got me out of my shell, and so now here I am talking to a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh. I Oh, also, if I get 15 likes, I will cosplay as the fourth Raikage. I mean, cornrow my hair and dye it and everything for a whole day and vlog it. There we go. All right, well, you know, back to the video. And I also got into anime. Oh, okay, because of South Park. For me, it's a uh, anime expo I went to about two years ago. And one of my favorites is uh, Shamrock Shampoo, and I like Gene because I think Gene is completely underrated. Movie oh my gosh! And I went as him, right? So when I went to the convention, everybody kept coming up to me and asking me like, "Oh, who are you, Afro Samurai?" But like, with the Yasuke look. And I don't know if you guys know Yasuke, but he's the the black samurai who was in Japan. And most of the convention, I had to like keep correcting people. But I had the long hair, so I thought that would work. And I had a tight back and everything, so I thought it, it would have, you know. I'm gonna be really betrayed if it's him. I'm gonna be really betrayed. Sad, sad face, truly. Been fine, but you know. Gene for life, though. He, he, he's, my, he's my husband, though. 
I totally Pause. relate to getting mixed up with cosplays at convention because my cosplay's shorter. He always gets mistaken for Minetta somehow. I'm ha like, what? Oh. People really be disrespecting Minetta. <gasps> oh, yo, chill. I feel like we're gonna have a fight right now. <laughs> so me and my friends were at a bowling alley, and then two of my friends got to the side of me. And like I held out the ball like um, a razor shuriken from Naruto, and they started like throwing like their chakra in there, and I started like screaming like super loud in the bowling alley, and then I sent the ball. And it oh my like, god! Super cringy if it wasn't for the fact that I got a strike. Oh. It was like the best strike of my life. Ah. Like, I will never try it again because if I do, it will just soil its memory. I saved it. The video will never leave my phone. Posted it online. Went kind of viral. That's how it is. And the person eliminated this round is Gabriel. No! Uh, it was the Minetta comment. No, no, you were... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I stand by what I said. Minetta is a king among kings. And there's nothing that can take that away from You're me. You're still a super fan, buddy. Stand if strong. feels confident that you already caught them all, you can end the game now. Give end, me a thumbs up end it. if you want to continue the game. Or a thumbs down if you think it's the two people that I suspected. Three. Well, down. I, I, I'm down for stop, right? Well, okay. Um, if it's one of y'all, I'm gonna be livid. I swear. Okay. If it's green, you guys win. Oh, I do it like that, yo. If the box is red, the mole is still in the game, and you guys. They're in lost. Discord, so what are they gonna do? Yeah. Like they're gonna share their screen. It's gonna be green. In three. Two, one. Please, please, please. It's Zoodle. Oh, really? oh, Zoodle. Zoodle. It was Zoodle. It was Zoodle. The real class trial. I'm... The real class We're gonna have the mole reveal him or herself. Three, two, one. Top ten anime betrayals. I can't. Oh, I <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Bro, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I really wanted him not to be the mole. I said I was gonna be so betrayed. Oh my god. Jennifer, I thought you were the mole. I am a geek, but I'm just not an anime geek. I like Harry Potter. Star Wars is big for me. I also love games. I knew they were going to do I that. Like I had a anime. feeling and in, like, very, very the bottom of my soul. Last Airbender, but that isn't actually considered anime. I've only watched uh, Samurai Champloo, Bebop, uh, most of Miyazaki, oh, okay. and that's pretty Ooh. much it. Yo, whose shirt is that, dog? Oh, <laughs> This shirt, Whose shirt is that, bro? <laughs> this shirt belongs to my friend Devin White. I'm gonna shout out right now. All of us. <laughs> to get to the, that was the most malicious thing you could have done. You did your homework. Good job. Oh my god. Yes. Also, no. you, no. I thought that was Pongo at first, so I'm friends. wrong too. Can we all like make a Discord together or something yes, and like watch anime yeah, together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so down. Yeah, everyone but and, Antoine. And Antoine, you can come too, I guess. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed this video. I hope you did too. And uh, it's your friendly neighborhood black guy, and I'm signing off. Peace.